In this video, I am going to explain how to use a recursive function to reverse a digits of a number in C programming. First, let's go to main, how this function is called. This main declares one integer here on this line. Ask user to enter a number, this number is stored and then this number input is passed to the function reverse this reverse function has two two arguments first is the input by the user and second value is zero the second value has to be zero let's run this program i'll compile this output is here in res.exe it asks user to enter a number i enter one two zero four five reverse is five four zero two one if I enter a number like 1 to 0, I will get a reverse 2 1, not 0 to 1. That will be a limitation of this program. Else it works fine for other numbers. Sorry. Here. Now let's understand the code. How this function works. These two inputs, the arguments, first is num and second is 0 in the beginning. If the number is less than or equal to 9 that means the number is a single digit number and we don't have to reverse it so as it is it's passed along with addition of p which is 0 in the beginning if it is a two digit or more then it enters to else part where the remainder of that number is found near remainder by 10 so in case the number input is 2 3 4 p will become 0 plus 4 p will become 4 and this function reverse is called again so here if the input is 2 3 4 here num divided by 10 that is 23 the result and p multiplied 10 that is 40 is passed and it will go call again itself with these two numbers so when this function calls itself again checks num is now 23 p is 40 this condition fails and it goes here in else now the sum is in else part the sum is p that is 40 plus num modulo 10 that is 3 so he, this becomes 43 and then reverse is called now 23 divided by 10 that is 2 and here 43 multiplied by 10 that is 430 is passed and this reverse function is called again let's see what happens inside this now this first value is 2 and this is 430 so this time this condition becomes 2 true so return value is p is equal to num plus p you can also say here remove this and just say return num plus p I'll save this and here the num is 2 and p is 430 so return value is 432 now this function stops here the result is 432 so So I will compile this code and run. Two thirty four. I get the output four thirty two. I hope you have understood this function. To see the similar logic where I use recursive function, but I use instead of uh, passing a very normal variable, I use pointer another video the video link is given in the description of this video you can check that also where i use pointers thanks for watching and like this video subscribe my channel for more programming videos thank you